this is Jenny and this is her first day with me and so I've kind of run the video a couple times here um, and Jenny did awesome so this is the beginning of the day I think or maybe midway through the day all right so here on slow motion okay you can see that you kind of you're still windmilling your arms around here in the beginning all right you're starting to get a released head and neck which we really want to just really release and let that head hang okay and we talked about a lot and we emailed okay that you want to enter the water on wide tracks outside your shoulder line and enter directly to four o'clock with fingertips released below the wrist wrist below elbow elbow below shoulder okay and you're going to kind of see that sweeping up of each of the arms okay so let's let that head hang let's enter the water on wide tracks with fingertips release below the wrist wrist below elbow elbow below shoulder and at four o'clock okay um but jenny really got it and uh you know we have to talk this week and uh, i'm really excited for her so you see a lot less turbulence here in the water um as we got through the day you still could be wider on your tracks and a little steeper on your entrance but there's no turbulence around the hand which shows that your fingertips are, are releasing a lot better all right, you see a little bit of that locked neck as you'll see on your rotation, right? The head's moving side to side. And we want the head always hanging down and looking in our mirror, okay? So we're going to hang the head. We're going to release the fingertips down, enter the water at 4 o'clock with those fingertips released below the wrist, wrist below elbow, elbow below shoulders with a hanging head. Nice body rotation, nice high hip, nice high shoulders, okay? But that head should not be traveling back and forth when we turn. It should always be hanging, and your eyes should be always down looking in your mirror. But you did awesome, and I'm really excited for you.